Hello and welcome to Wardergrave A-Level Further Mathematics. I'm Miss Dawkins, I'm currently the Head of Maths and I'm going to talk you through what we're going to do at Further Maths at Wardergrave. So I'm going to just start with the course content. So you'll be taking the Maths A-Level and the Further Maths A-Level. Both are linear exams and they will both be taken at the end of Year 13. The exam board we do is Edexcel. So looking at just the A-level maths, you do three papers that are equally weighted. Two are the applied, uh, two are the pure, sorry, and one of them is the applied. And then you have got the further maths where you do four exams, two are the core pures, and then one is the further statistics and one is the further mechanics, and they too are equally weighted. I'm going to talk you through what we're going to be doing in year 12 and then year 13 before I come on to what you need to have ready for September. So in year 12, you'll be in a separate further maths class. You'll be studying the entire normal maths content in year one. You'll have eight lessons a week and three different teachers. So you'll have one for the pure maths, one for the statistics and one for the mechanics. At the end of year 12, you'll have an internal exam, which will consist of all three A-level papers that we talked about a second ago. After these internal exams have been marked, a decision will be made as to whether pupils continue with further maths or change down to normal maths. If, you decide to, if we decide and you decide to drop further maths, you'll be repeating the normal maths syllabus in year 13. So you'll drop down to a normal maths class and just repeat the part, year two part of the for, the normal maths. In year 13, you will study just the further maths syllabus. You'll have nine lessons per week and three teachers, one for pure, one for statistics and one for mechanics, just the same as you did in year 12. In March, you'll have a full set of mock exams for normal maths and further maths. So you'll be doing all of those exams in March. We'll then make a decision on a pupil by pupil together we'll make a decision if you'll be doing the full A level maths for further maths or if you want to drop down and we think it's wise that you drop down to do just the AS exam at the end of year 13. You'll then sit all of the maths and further maths A level papers at the end of year 13 so at the end of year 13 you'll be doing seven exams. Okay the books that you need for next year so for September because we are doing the full A level in one year you need to make sure that you have got the Edexcel Pearson textbooks for pure, pure maths year one and year two, which are the blue ones, as well as the stats and mechanics year one and year two, which are the brown ones. You also need to make sure that you have three folders, one for pure, one for statistics, one for mechanics, and that you have dividers in those folders. You'll need to bring your own paper, it doesn't have to be square paper, line paper is absolutely fine and it tends to be a little bit cheaper so save yourself a little bit of money. But you also must have this class with calculator, it's the FX991EX. It is extremely, extremely valuable and it will save you a lot of time during the course and you will need it for the full two years for both the A-level and the further maths part of the course. So please make sure you get one. If you start shopping around now, they tend to be sales. When you come back in September, by the end of September, they've gone back up to full price. So I suggest you start shopping around now for those. In the second year then, you are doing your further maths. And again, you'll need the books. So you'll need four books. You need the core pure um, mathematics book one and book two, which are the green ones. And you need the further mechanics one and the further statistics one. This is the same calculator from year 12, so you don't need to buy yourself a new calculator. So generally, overall, you'll be sitting both the, uh, both the pure at both the A-level and the uh, A-level maths at the end of year 13. There will be options through the end of year 12 and in the middle-ish of year 13 to make decisions as to whether you want to drop down to normal maths and whether you want to be dropping down to just doing the A-level further maths. We are very excited for you to be joining Audergrave Maths and we look forward to seeing you in September. Have a lovely summer holiday.